Hello everyone, this is Becky from Piece of Cake, and I'm happy to announce that TAP is back. TAP is artist transfer paper um, designed by Leslie Riley. And you can use TAP to put images and text on fabric. You can wash it or not. It's wonderful stuff. I love it. So, I suspect that I will use this primarily for documentation patches because, because I can. And you can add images to a documentation patch as well as text. It's a really nice way to dress it up. I designed two documentation patches with text laid on top of an image that is important to each of the people who will be receiving these quilts. This gets printed on the tap. You print on the clear side, not the dotted side of the paper. Now it's important to print this reversed because when I take the documentation patch and press it onto the fabric, then the text and the image will be right side up. So whether you print it out of your computer reversed or you print on paper and then reverse it from there, that's up to you. Just know that you need to reverse your image uh, when it's printed onto tap and you'll print it on an inkjet printer. That's very important. Then you read the instructions because you can put this on more than just fabric and those instructions are included with the product. I am interested in putting this on fabric. So I have my iron. This is my Oliso travel iron. It will actually be really good for this. Set to super hot. Then I'm ironing on a firm surface. In this case, it's my wool pressing mat. You want to begin by holding the image in place so that it doesn't shift. And then you apply a little pressure and keep the iron moving over the tap for two full minutes. The instructions say that you cannot over iron this. The only thing you might do is scorch your fabric. So if you are ironing onto something that might burn, you would place silicone release paper or parchment paper over the surface as you do this. Now two minutes is a long time for you to watch me do this. So I'm gonna pause the video and come back in a bit. Okay, it's been about two minutes. So I'm going to stop ironing. The instructions say that this can be peeled hot or cold. So I'm going to test it. Nope, it's not ready yet. Back to ironing. I've ironed quite a bit more. This time I'm going to let the image cool just a little bit before I peel. Oh, that may be the that may be the trick. I was trying to peel it maybe when it was still too warm. There we go. So, all of the polymer is now on the fabric laying over the inkjet part of this. The instructions say that the finer the weave of the fabric, the uh, crisper the image will be. This is just a straight up cotton off the bolt. If I was doing this on a Pima cotton, I think it would be even a little crisper, but I don't, I don't mind that it looks like it's printed on fabric. You can feel that there is 
a, a polymer there. It doesn't, you know, it feels a little different, but it does not feel bad. This is a beautiful way to transfer an image to fabric. All right, other things to pay attention to. Anything in your image that is white will transfer as clear onto the uh, onto the fabric. So white, uh, if you're printing this on a darker fabric or a fabric with texture, that's going to shadow through white areas as it does here. This is a sample that Leslie gave me and you can see that the print, the white on white print in the fabric transfers through the image, which is a very nice look. All right, what else do we need to know? I don't think anything. This is a dandy, dandy product. Um, I look forward to using it a lot. I'm sure you can see many uses yourself for this uh, artist transfer paper. I hope you've enjoyed this demonstration and may you have many happy stitches. Thanks for watching.